in our lives, some people fall into what they're going to do at a young age. Uh, some people don't, you know. And I and I suppose I slightly wandered the world aimlessly, not quite knowing what I wanted to do. Having done worked in film, cooking, all sorts of things, and I don't know what it was. It's quite far, hard to find something that has uh, not been reinvented or rehashed by people. And imagine coming across chocolate which hadn't been i mean isn't it incredible i mean i am the only uk bean to bar chocolate manufacturer uh, at the moment in the uk so for me to find chocolate and discover what it really was about the flavor and the history and and all these things and and how it was really about the effect uh, of it you know it was a revelation to me and i ran with it and i suppose i've never looked back it, it's difficult to say you know, what's the ingredients that capture someone to give them the passion? It's something that comes, you know. Uh, and I, I was captured by chocolate. And I, you know, I wake up thinking about it. Uh, I go to sleep thinking about it. I, you know, I dream about it. <laughs> I, I mean, it's an obsession. It's a passion. Much to the same as a poet, you know. I'm, I'm a writer. I write as well. But, you know, uh, I cook. I also cook. So, it, you know, it's, it's passion which motivates you, really. And, and no one knows why. chocolate uh, is about the flavor of the bean or, or, or if you've made a chocolate with an inclusion as we were speaking earlier you know you've paired perfectly the bean with the inclusion so you know my ginger and lime I picked a, a very robust African bean from Sierra Leone and I paired it with ginger and lime because they perfectly complement each other um, you know I, I think that the beans all make good chocolate, really. You know, the, the origin of the bean, the type of bean, the post-harvest, that it's been prepared properly. Uh, and then, of course, the chocolatier, who has the most influence on how it turns out. A, a lot of chocolate, they've lost, cho they've lost contact with what they're really about because they're big PLC companies, and it's all about the margin. It's no longer about, you know, chocolate. We've got to remember, chocolate was a drink for 4,000 years. It was revered. It was the money. It was the assets money. What was it so special that it was called food of the gods? You know, wow, you know, it certainly wasn't something that was laden with sugar and packed full of vegetable fat. I do everything, you know, I buy directly from the farmer, I ship uh, from around the world, uh, and I manufacture the chocolate from the bean. And that, that has enabled me you know, to gain enough margin to deliver chocolate for a price. By outsourcing it, it becomes very muddied and you need somewhere to, uh, you need somebody else to bar it up and the whole thing becomes uh, complicated and expensive. When the Spanish arrived uh, in Aztec times, you know, the now Mexico, uh, the, 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 the Indians were soaking their maize in a lime solution, heating it to 70 degrees, and making a, a paste, a tortilla mix for t tortillas. Uh, it wasn't until, and then the Spanish said, oh, you can't do this, you know, lime is poisonous, we use it as a disinfectant. In the 1920s, they identified in America, that released two amino acids, ribiflan and nicosan. Now, that is the staple diet of Mexicans even today, you know, tortillas and beans, which are protein. So now, now tell me something, if they were that sophisticated about their basic uh, food, uh, staple food, uh, which was the, the tortilla, what was it about cacao that they called it food of the gods? Tell me, you know, it was revered, it was drunk at ceremony occasions, it was a pick you up, make you feel good. I mean, we've analyzed it and we've seen it's packed of vitamins and minerals. It's created a balance in my body. It makes me feel good, dynamic. I haven't had a cold. I haven't been sick in a year and a half. I mean, there's something really special. I really know my body and I really know how it's making me feel. And, and I think that the Aztecs really did too, you know. It was drunk as a drink for 4,000 years. Not about the flavor, but about the effect. You know, it's really, it's really, it's hard. I mean, if I think of my journey, uh, you know, uh, what, one one, what, the first thing is, uh, you know, it's almost uh, a mistake to have too much money. Uh, you know, I had none. And coming from none meant you really, everything was about the bottom line. You know, I think if I'd had money, I wouldn't have had enough. You can never have enough money. So by really being on the bottom line and selling your passion and people helping you, I mean, so many people helped me to get where I am. I can't claim to have done it all on my own. I really was assisted by 
a lot of people that I call the chocolate romantics, a lot of them retired in the chocolate business. You know, guys that uh, gave me, you know, tanks, machines for free in the restaurant business. You can build a restaurant, you can cook. You've got to remember how to fill it. And with the chocolate, you've got to remember how to sell it as well. So you need to create a platform. Uh, you know, of how you're going to sell it, you know, after you've done it. You know, people get caught up too much in the romance of what they're I doing. I drove my friends crazy with taste this, taste this, taste this, because you never can be quite sure, you know, don't be too arrogant or overpassionate. You know, get people to taste your, your creations, you know, listen to them, you know, you, 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 and also there's a wealth of people out there that are successful. So, I mean, you know, I was a late starter, I'm 48 now, uh, and I consider myself a late starter, uh, and I had friends who are successful in their own rights, not the chocolate industry, but in other, in other, in other, uh, in other strands of life, and I asked them. I wasn't afraid to ask, and you know, people are always willing to help as well and give you their advice. So I think, you know, me coming from the angle of knowing and and and, and being honest to myself that I really didn't know everything, but I know a man who does, uh, was a really good angle to come from. You know.